We're now gonna walk through the routing features of the new NSX. We're gonna go both through manual as well as the brand new auto routing features that the unit has to offer. So when we wanna do our route planning, we're gonna open up our chart app. The first and easiest way is a manual route. So where we're just gonna press and hold the screen, you're gonna notice it comes up with that position. You're gonna hit route and that's the first point in your route. And then it's just a press and hold and you're manually building your route. All right, so it's dropping them down. You go to finish. Now we can go in and we can set up our route for. So we just created a route real quick and simple. Another way you can use routing is kind of, shall we say, a hybrid mode where we're going to actually add auto routing capabilities. So again, we're going to find a place where we want to start our route. And I'm going to do my start point. I'm going to start my route. I'm going to start planning where I can manually plan. And I've got some of the easy routes that I can do with a quick press of a button. But maybe I want to finish up coming out here and again, if you notice, it's across land because I don't want to have to put in all the additional points to get us around. So what we do is we now have the ability to go into that leg and this little icon is auto routing for that leg. So if I hit that, it will actually auto route just that leg. Now you'll notice it's taken me out the channel and made my turn. It's no longer going across land. So we can use that feature within a manual leg. Simply hit finish and do what we want to do, and we've just added that route. Now we have the ability to also go in and edit routes. So we can go and pick, like here, we've got a route two, we're gonna go in there, and we're going to see route details, and now we can go in and edit. So what do we want to do? Well, maybe I want to move some things. I can rubber band just by grabbing any spot within. Maybe I need to go in and on that leg, I might need to go in and add another point. So you notice I just added a point and I rubber banded that. So pick a leg, push and hold a spot within that leg. We add a point so we can go in and easily manipulate that right from the screen on the chart. Simply hit finish and save. Or just like our waypoints, we can also go into our waypoint routes menu and also go pull up these individual uh, routes. And again, do the same thing. Go into say here, route four. Now what do I wanna do? Well, I see the details about it. Maybe I again wanna go in and I wanna edit that one. So now it allows me to go in and edit that one. So again, if I want to rubber band, I rubber band. If I want to push and add, I push and add. So again, quick, easy manipulation, finish, locks it in. Now, from our route menu, select routes. Here's where we can actually go in and export all those routes so we can save them to a card. So once we're done manipulating them and doing what we need to do to it, we can now export that as a file so we see all of the routes that we're going to export we simply hit next we're going to again type in the file name so you can customize that name if you do do multiple files on a regular basis i do suggest putting a date on there so you can identify it but we're just going to add it as test where do i want to save it i've got an sd card in there you do have the also the ability to save it to usb stick Simply hit next, and now all those routes have been saved in a file called test. And then from that same menu, you can also go in and import. And now it'll go out and see all of the files that contain routes. And again, if we wanted to pick our test, we could pick our test and import that file onto the machine if we had no routes or wanted to add to our route list. So real quick, real easy, gives you the ability to manipulate your route list. So we also have the ability, whether we're doing it from our chart app or from the Waypoint route list, 
is to delete. So delete's real quick and easy. We're just gonna pick whichever route it is. You'll notice it's gonna pop up route two. We're gonna highlight it. We're gonna go to our side menu. And again, we can simply delete it. Remember we did the edit earlier, simply do the delete and now that erases it. If we go into our waypoints and routes and we select routes, we can also do the same thing here. Route four, we can go down and again, we can delete that route as well. Uh, another nice feature is we can actually go in and sort. So we can sort them by name, we can sort them by when they were made, or we can sort them by proximity uh, to which they are to the vessel or the cursor. So you simply hit sort, you'll notice it'll readjust them in an appropriate order. Filters is another one. So again, filter it by text. Uh, the name filtered by date. So two ways to reset that list to make it easier for you to find uh, your route. So again, if we had something listed other than route, we could start typing in that textual name and then it will automatically sort starting with the letter S. If we had any in there in our list sorted by S, you could just put in S done and anything starting with S would always be at the top.